Two weeks ago, Belinda O'Toole's 97-year-old grandmother, Nancy, spent four hours ramped at the Northwest Regional Hospital. She was in a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, so being stuck on a bed in a waiting room, basically, um, it was very distressing. Belinda believes that experience has contributed to a rapid decline in her grandmother's health, as she also suffers from dementia. Since that time, she hasn't behaved normally. Um, she's had that functioning decline. More than 21,000 patients have experienced ramping in Tasmania over the past eight years. Research has found transfer of care delays can increase a patient's risk of dying within a month. It's very clear from research in Victoria that after 17 minutes, every minute after that, there's an increased risk of harm. Data given to a parliamentary ramping inquiry shows that between 2018 and 2023, 136 people have died in Tasmanian hospitals in the 24 hours after being ramped for at least 30 minutes. In the 12 months to July, 44 people died, almost one per week. What we're seeing is a direct relationship between the increase of ramping in Tasmania, the length of stay on the ramp, and the increase in people who are dying shortly afterwards. You cannot hide uh, the data. The state government says the data is being misrepresented. You cannot take two different sets of data, join them together and then have an unsubstantiated outcome. Tasmania's Department of Health says there's no causal link between ramping and later deaths. It says while the number of patients being transferred to hospital by ambulance has increased, there hasn't been a rise in the number of safety reports linked to ramping. But the state's Health and Community Services Union says the figures reflect what health workers are seeing on the ground, and they've had enough. They signed up to save lives, um, not to sit back and have to watch people die because they do not have enough resources uh, to give Tasmanians the treatment and care that they need. Isabella Podwinski, ABC News.